Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new story. The name of the story is What If Konoha Reacted to Naruto Son of Tobirama and yeah guys, it is an unscripted story. Now before continuing this, shout out is due where it is due. Shout out to Kazuto Senju for suggesting this idea. Now moving onwards, he and I got in touch with um on discord the new discord server that i created and if you haven't still found out about it well i posted a link in the community tab of this channel and of meta what if channel as well and yeah if you want to go there and check it out there will be a link there as well and it will expire within seven days i'm telling you right now because the previous discord server died because of that reason i did not knew the link died within seven days and yeah because of that um many people were demanding or asking where the discord server was and i was like wait i just put the link there and when i clicked on it yes it was expired so yeah the invite link link is only limited for seven days and after that it will be expiring so yeah go ahead and join as fast as you can so that we can talk and communicate he and i i mean kazuto made this story up while on discord so yeah he helped me out with this idea so Shout out to him, cause to send you. Anyways, moving onwards, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my this channel and follow me on my Polo Uchiha channel, I mean Meta What If channel as well. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato. Before the Second Great Shinobi War, where we see young Hiruzen Saratobi, Danzo Shimura, Koharu and Homura training together as they were waiting patiently for their sensei in the training field. Nay, why do you think when will sensei come here? said Koharu. What do you mean by that, Koharu? Obviously, when he is free, he will come here. He's the damn Kage of the village, remember? Yeah, but still. As that is when we see a bright light emerge, engulfing them as whole. And once the light died down, they were standing in front of their sensei, who was talking with his dead brother. Mitosama was also there, who was crying while hugging Hashirama, and Madara Uchiha was there. Wait, what is going on here? How come... How come we're here as well? And how come Hashirama sama and Madara are alive? Oh, you guys are here as well. It seems like they're here as well, Nissan. I see. Is that monkey that has grown up? Huh, look at little Koharu. And Danzo as well. He has turned out quite handsome. Said Mito. Oh, I, I, I see. Thank you for the compliment, Mito sama. But what are we doing here? Lord First. Sensei, I do not know. It's because I have brought you here, said a voice, as a being with white wings arrived there, with a staff in his hand that was golden, as immediately everyone bowed, because they knew that this was an angel, angel sent from heaven, angel sama. <laughs> if that is what you're going to refer to me, then fine, I am the watcher of time, and I have brought you here to see an alternative reality, for, for what reasons? For two reasons, one, because you will see... The similar events that will unfold in this reality of yours and the second one is because we were bored and decided to make that world for our sake and now we want to see how you will react if you were to in come in contact with that as the on the second one they all face faulted a being with such caliber and power such as the watcher of time was saying something along the lines of fun and being bored um oh okay so, Kamiyami and Shinigami will be watching this. Yes, obviously, they will be as well. So, I must say, you rather relax because the time in your world has been frozen. Once you return, you will return back to the day and time you have left. I, we see. So, no need to hurry. Just relax and enjoy yourself. As a few couches arrived there, as they sat down, and there were a lot of stuff for them to enjoy and eat there as well. As Madara with a raised eyebrow sat down. Oi, Madara, that's... That's that's quite disrespectful. Angel Sama is still standing. Hmm, that being is first of all not an angel. Secondly, he said so himself that we are here and the time is frozen. So what's the point of wasting? Rather just continue now. Yeah, I think we should. Not before there are some more people that I need to bring in. And soon now we see an older Hiruzen Sahardovi was also brought there. And not only that, a Sonata Senju that was older alongside with an older Jiraiya and Orochimaru was also there. Wait, what? What is going on here? S Suna? Is that is that you? Grandpa? Granduncle? Wait, Sunare? Said Tobirama as he was quite shocked as the young four 
elders were quite surprised as well. Wait, is that is that me? <laughs> it's been a long time, huh? Wow, I do tend to look quite good when I was younger. Said the older Hiruzen, stroking his goatee as he looked towards his senses. It's been a long time, Sensei. Lord First, Mitosama. I see, you have certainly grown older, monkey. Yes, being the Hokage for quite a long time, it tends to do that to you. I see. As certainly the older elders also arrived there, as Donzo gawked at his bandaged up face, as the younger Hiruzen laughed at him. <laughs> look at you, Donzo. You look like a mashed potato. What happened to you? Ugh, damn it, said the older and the younger Donzo at great unison, because they knew that how Hiruzen was. <laughs> as much as I like to say this, but Donzo had these scars for a good reason. He sacrificed greatly when the village was attacked in the third creation of before. Third creation of before? Said, said Tobirama as he looked at them with quite shocked expression. That also happened? Yes, it did. What happened to us? The Sanju clan was wiped out and Sonari left in exile because her brother Namaki, the younger one, died as well alongside the rest of the clan. And Usamakis were also wiped out. What happened to the Kyubi? It was passed down to... Uh, Last Uzumaki girl that was brought here, Kushina Uzumaki, your niece, and even she died at childbirth. Right now their son, Naruto, is safe as an orphan. Why an orphan, monkey? He's an Uzumaki. Yes, but you see his parents have made a lot of enemies. Kushina was like any typical Uzumaki, quite hot-headed. And because of her temper, she literally enraged Kumo, and Kiri as well. And as for Minato, the fourth Hokage, who was my successor, he, bless his soul, took up your technique and refined it and became the yellow flash of Konoha. Oh, I see. The Hiroshin, right? Yes. So I was forced back into this job after retirement. And that is what I told you. I need to become the Hokage. No, Danzo, you don't. We need to pass the torch down to the next generation, not to hold it on to ourselves. Sensei would agree that I would make a better Kage now that he's here. I didn't realize that we would argue like that. Seriously, I would never thought of being a Kage. Not now, but in the future when the second great shinobi war happens, you will. Once you lose Sensei and those closer to you. So the older Donzo has the younger one's eyes wide, then we can prevent that, can we? As... Well, uh, as Donzo then said, you can't prevent time from what it has happened. Of course they can. That is why I brought you here from different aspects of your time span. So all of you can sit down and tell each other about your secrets. But that can wait, can it not? Because right now we need your reactions on the future that will unfold in front of you. So what are we reacting to? Your son, Tobirama. But, um, I never married. Yeah, you didn't, but you could. And your other did. And he had a son. A son who was, let's just say, <sighs> why don't you see for yourself? As now we see, holding in the laugh with a sigh, the angel disappeared. As the screen appeared, as a woman similar to Mito, but a little bit younger, with a little bit of different facial features, was there. She, meaning, was also an Uzumaki. Her name being Kazumi. Kazumi-chan. <laughs> who knew that Tobirama would be such a softie when it, he's married? To my cousin, nonetheless, said Mito. I would recommend that you do marry Kazumi. She is still looking for a suitor. I, I, um, let's just watch, please. As the older and the younger students laughed at this because their sensei and marriage never settled, while Madara chuckled at that. As now we see, after the birthing process was done, a child with white hair and blue eyes was born with red markings as the form of birth symbol on him. Wait, I have these markings, not the birth symbol. Seems like your son did. As Naruto grew up, it turns out that he was quite a prankster, taking his mother's heritage to the heart, always painting his fa father's face with bright neon colors, while also making it doodle like his uncle was nodding a lot, as Hashirama chuckled at that. And even Jiraiya as well as Sonata chuckled. Wait. His name is Naruto, and he's just like ours. Yours, Naruto? 
Well, Minato and Kushina had a son, and his name is Naruto, said Toby, said um, Hiruzen, the older one. Very seriously? Yes. As that is when they noticed. Wait, Sensei, that is Naruto. But but he's born early on, and he he's he's Sensei's son. He's sec Lord Second's son, said Jiraiya. Wait, that that can't be right. As that is when Angel appeared and said, "Yes, that is right," and that is what it happened. Naruto was born early, way early when you were younger. Oh, this changes everything now. Yep. Certainly does, but that doesn't mean that the Naruto that you have will not be born because you don't need to worry about that Because he's born from Kushina and Minato, so he will be brought into this world But with a different name I guess or with a similar who knows maybe he'll react and find out as they witnessed that Naruto was a Ganon and his team sensei being Madara <laughs> Obviously, I'll teach him the best as I can <laughs> I highly doubt it you traitor as that is when a woman instead of a man arrived there as Naruto was watching her with wide eyes that sparkled. As Madara was taken aback by that, as Naruto then said, You're pretty. As Madara literally spit out the drink that he was drinking and stood up with his shining arm blazing in his eyes. That damn brat. Did, just, did he just call me pretty? Well, <clears throat> Madara said Ajirama, Look at your female version. I mean, he is you, but... she. I mean, she is you, but... She's a she and you're a he. I guess this is a different reality that changes some of stuff. <laughs> that is quite funny. Said Ashirama as Mito laughed alongside the younger generation or the older one, you can say. As Jiraiya, Tsunade and Orochimaru was just baffled. As they looked towards their uncle, I mean Tsunade's uncle, who was just shocked. No, my son and Madara. How can this be? Is the world ending? Is it because I was racist to Uchiha's? Wait, what? Said Madara. You were, you, were, you were racist to my kind? No, I mean, yes, I mean, no, enough of that. You better stay away from my son, Uchiha. As the same words were said by the second Hokage who was there, as Hashirama who had retired was laughing, Come on, brother, work hard. Not get angry or you'll be bald before anything else. While on the other side, they witnessed that Naruto grew up as the first great shinobi war happened. And in the midst of the war, Naruto saved his sensei, who he procured love to at multiple times. But at that moment, once he saved her and almost lost his life, she realized that he was serious. And after becoming jo Jonin at the age of 14 that everyone was surprised about, they realized that Naruto was getting serious and Madara was catching feeling for Naruto. As... Almost Madara was close to passing out, literally foaming from his mouth. How could this happen? And same could be said for Tobirama. The world was really cursing him this time around. While the Kamihami and Shinigami was laughing at their reaction, as could be said for the Watcher of Time. While the others were just confused. If, this, if their Naruto was like this, what would happen? So you mean to say that this Naruto is similar to ours? In a sense, yes. Some of the habits are quite common in Naruto, but... Many of them differ. I mean, look at this Naruto. He is in love with the female version of Madara that is there. Oh god, please stop this. I think I'm gonna puke, said Tobirama. Oh, calm down, Tobirama. Don't overreact. I mean, it's just Madara. We, we need a break, please, said Madara. I need to calm my head. This, 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 this is traumatizing. I'm a woman, first of all, and I'm catching feelings for a kid. And he's, he's Tobirama of all the... Of all the Men out there. Oh my god. The world is finally ending, said Madara as he barfed, while everyone else laughed at them. Even Tsunade did. <laughs> I guess that is quite funny when you see it like that, isn't it? Of course it is, said Orochimaru, who was quite intrigued by this. As that is when they noticed that Naruto then met. After being a Jonin with his younger cousin, Tsunade, who was now a Ganon, and instead of Hiruzen training them, who has become the Kage and Naruto's best friend? He was. Seriously, Hiruzen. Nissan, you seriously need to rethink this. I mean, I know you're older and all that, but still, why should I train her them? They're just not not nose brad. <laughs> Naruto, you were was not nose brad as well, as Danza also smirked. Of course he was. But he has turned out to be a great water user, hasn't he? 
quite a selfless one as well, as Koharu and Homura were quite shocked at how they were talking to the kid as if they were friends. Turns out the flashbacks were shown in which Naruto has helped with them and bonded over time. He was a few years younger, yes, but he was still a part of their team after he became a Jonin. And due to the, them being a Jonin squad, they were sent on a lot of dangerous missions. And in the first great Shinobi War, he was the first one to save most of them and help out them in multiple times, especially helping Danzo rescue his family, his parents who were close to dying out, making him an orphan as well. As the older Danzo's eyes widened, Sensei, you must have this kid. My parents would be saved this way. Please. I think you should, Sensei, said Hiruzen. Ma Danzo really changed after the loss. We, we were late. A lot of late. I see. But isn't the timeline quite off, Sensei, said Orochimaru. I mean, think about it. The first great Shinobi War hasn't happened, and now it does here. A little bit is different in that world than ours. Maybe we can prevent something. Even if the first war has happened, the second can be prevented. After all, his parents did die in the second great Shinobi War, didn't they? So, so you mean to say that soon my parents will die? Said younger Danzo. Unfortunately, yes. But you can prevent them from dying. I have to think of a way. We will, said Hiruzen. I promise we will. As now we see, Tobi Rama was also contemplating as he witnessed his son helping them throughout the war. As now we see... Naruto was standing in front of his father, as both of them were arguing. And as your father and Akage, I'm telling you, son, that you don't need to marry that accursed Uchiha. And I'm telling you again that I have feelings for her. She's older than you, so what? I don't care. Nobody in Shinobi World care. As Madara on the other side was turning tomato red, because this was a council meeting when the both father and son decided to have this argument. Ah, oh, seriously. Said Madara, face bombing his head as Hashirama was having a time of his life alongside with Mito. As he looked towards Tobirama, right in the middle of a council meeting, that is when you decide to do this? Well, someone had to. As the current Kage at the time, which was newly instated, he was in with and said, Um, Sensei? Naruto? Why don't you calm down for that a bit? I mean, we were discussing about you training them, right? Yeah. I guess you were, before my dad barged in. Jeez, kid, I'm gonna have to discipline you, said Tobirama with scrunched narrowed eyes that Naruto replicated. Yeah, I'll see you uh, like I'll let you, old man. We'll see about that. As both of them were radiating blue chakra that caused crack on the ground, I must say I'm impressed. Such potent chakra at such a young age, said Hashirama. Truly your son and my nephew. Why don't you marry, brother? I wish to have a nephew as well. I mean, I have given you nephew and nieces, right? Why don't you give me some? Ah, oh, fine. I'll think about that. As now we see, Naruto was the one who became the sensei of Orochimaru, Jiraiya, and Tsunade. And so he trained them to be much more legendary and badass of ninjas than they were already. Wait, so we are much more stronger than our younger counterparts there, said Orochimaru. And I am happy? Turns out this Naruto has changed quite a lot in the past and the present because of him being there. That is correct, Hiruzen Sama, said the others. While the younger adults were looking, I mean, elders were looking at their older self, that like that of Sage. Wait, so what happened? I mean, we were friends, right? Looking at the future, something bad must have happened for us to split like that. Something did, said Homura. <sighs> Me and Koharu went over on our own ways. It was just you two, who had, but it hurts. Someone had to act up and act in favor of the village, and that is what we did. Seriously. How come you two always find a way to argue, even when you have the most important job? Yeah, I'm kind of agreeing with my other side, said Homura, as the adult and the younger side nodded. We have to think of something that once we get back. Oh, great, said both Danzo and Hiruzen. Well, it seems that our younger selves do agree with the, the older ones of theirs, right? Yes, it seems so, Tanzo. It seems so. As after that, it was seen that Naruto then proposed to Madara of all and married her. And both of them even had a son known as Saruto. As that is when Madara was shocked. Wait, what? So, let me get this straight. The brat and I married and then had a son? My son married an Uchiha. Madara Uchiha nonetheless. 
I should come back, commit Senpak. I need to die and erase this. No, you're not, said Hashirama, stopping him. I need to have a nephew now. Yes, that boy is adorable. You must have him. And plus, Kazumi is in need of a suitor. And you're the perfect one, said Mito. Wait, since when did it come to me? Sensei, you need to have him. A lot of lives will be impacted because of this. For the good, that is. Please. Yes, I must agree with the younger selves of them. You must, said Orochimaru. As everyone looked towards him. Y you serious, Orochimaru? Are you, are, you, are you serious? Of course I am. Why can't you for once think of me what I am speaking is serious? I always am, unlike you. As after that we see, Tobirama then said, fine, fine. But not like you can marry Madra since he's... Well, there will be others from the Uchiha clan. I mean, you have their sister, his sister that is born. Wait, I have a sister? After you died, your parents who were still old and alive, well, had a child. Damn it, at such a age. Of course, Uchiha's vitality is similar to Uzumaki's and Senju, so yeah, they could. And they did. Her name is Izumi Uchiha, a perfect suitor for your Naruto. And similarly, like Madara, she is older. I mean, two to three years. Never, said Tobirama. You can't stop what is coming, Tobirama. So yeah, you better watch out. If he hurts my sister, I'll come from death to kill him. We'll see about that, Uchiha. Yeah, you better send you. As that is when we see Naruto and Madara were bickering about the name because they needed to give him the surname of Senju Uchiha or Uchiha Senju. I don't care, Madara-chan. Do whatever you need to. You think this is a survival matter, Senju? No, don't bring Senju Uchiha into this. How about this? As Naruto slammed his lips onto her, as Madara was close to being turned green and passing out, his soul muscles was le almost leaving his body. Same could be said for Tobirama. While Hashirama and Mita watched this with a little bit of embarrassment. Oh, uh, yeah, um, about that. Can we not see that? That is so funny to imagine, I mean, Madara and him kissing. As Tobirama literally did pass out foaming this time around. While Madara, he was turning green and wanted to puke again. Please stop this. While Kamiyami and Shinigami were slapping their knees and having the laugh of their life. While the others were just averting their gaze because this was quite embarrassing. The legends of the past were here bickering like children. All of them were. As after that, now we see... The Watcher of Time appeared, laughing himself to that. Okay, okay, enough, enough. I can't allow you, unfortunately, to see any further and beyond this. What? What do you mean by that? Because this is more than enough for you to change the way of life. Now, once you return to each and every one of your time, it is up to you to you decide whether you want to change or whether you want the same future as you have known about. Any more hints cannot be given. So, I apologize, but you all must leave. Now, bye now, as after that, with a snap of their fingers, everyone turned. As now we see a cell phone coming out of the pocket of the Watcher of Time, as he flicked through it, catching the images of Madara and Tobirama and everyone else and their reactions that were quite hilarious. Everyone's gonna blow a their head once they find out what, what I have captured. Oh boy, this will be fun. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And follow me on my Apollo Metabotif channel as well. And yes, the Discord link is in the community tab. I'm mentioning it again. So yeah, you better go and follow me on the Discord channel as well. Because there we'll talk and discuss about the what-ifs that will be posted from now on on both of the channels. As this is Apollo Ochiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!